you know, I don't know what I'm going to make a video about and I think that's part of the point that I wanted to make, maybe. Uh, I've been wanting to make a video for a while and uh, there are so many things that I want to talk about, but I'm also, there's many things that I want to cover. One thing is that I've been chasing like fame and, and I want to be well known and recognized and I want people to like my messages and to, 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 to share what I share and to... There's a part of me, I'm not gonna lie, there's a part of me that wants to have a huge YouTube channel and, and Facebook following and... There's a part of me that wants that, but I've noticed the more healing I do, the more self-love and compassion and things I have for myself, the better I can understand those parts, the better relationship I have with those parts of myself and they're gonna be there and that's fine, right? But there's also the part that wants to help and, and there's such a deep desire to help. I talk to a lot of people and I see the struggle that we all go through, right? This emotional roller coaster that we all go through and there's a deep, deep desire to help. I was just talking to two beautiful people. And just being around them inspires me so much. So much. And it reminds me, and they remind me of, of the impact that I can have. But I get in my own way so much because I'm terrified of judgment. I'm terrified of judgment. And I've always been my whole life. I always hide as a way to avoid the pain of being judged. I was judged a lot as a kid and whew, it really hurts as a kid. It really, really, really hurts as a kid when you're judged. and. we find ways to protect ourselves and I found ways I I would hide and I would I was insanely shy when I was a kid because I was always terrified of people judging me judging my actions my behavior my everything right I grew up in a country where and this is <laughs> not a judgment, but obviously in part it is, but it's more of an observation too. And people from Uruguay might get pissed at me for saying this, but I feel like our society, our culture, uh, we judge a lot in Uruguay. Um, a lot, and I grew up with that idea. Uh, of people judging everything you do and say everything, everything, how you dress, how you talk, how you walk, how you run, how you play sports, how you... Everything, everything. And I grew up seeing that around me, right? People making fun of someone for how they dress or... You know how like when you're a little boy and you you like a girl and you want to approach her and and you're nervous as hell right and you go and try to talk to someone and they make fun of you it happened once with me and there was this girl that i really really liked it was i think first grade and and i took a, a, a gift it was those things that you 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 um the liquid that you take the thing out and you blow and the bubbles come out and for some reason i just wanted to give it to her because i I liked the thing, it was very special for me, and I really liked this girl, right? And then my cousin picked me up from school, and she asked me how the day went, and I told her the story, and she made fun of me so much. And she didn't do, obviously, she loves me, and she didn't do it in a bad way, of course. But when someone you look up to makes fun of you that way, it's like, you start to question, like, what did I do wrong? What 
should I have done, right? With everything that I do, and I mean everything that I do, I question, should I have done that? Should I have done it another way? Could I have done it better? Did I go overboard? Did I do too much? Did I say too much? Did I not say enough? Was what I say good? Was what I say what they wanted me to say? Holy shit, like if you could hear what goes on in my mind daily. I don't know if daily, but it's crazy, crazy. And one thing that I learned about judgment, which is to me, it's fascinating, it, re it really resonates that we all have the inner judge inside of us, right? We all judge, like that's part of the human experience. That's part of the journey, right? And one thing that happens is that, same thing with criticism, right? We, we judge ourselves so much on the inside, right? I criticize myself so freaking much on the inside that we get to a point that we can't take it anymore we can't take it anymore so now who's left to criticize who do we judge next who do we criticize after that everyone else around us right well I'm, i was so tired of criticizing myself that i went through a period where i criticized a lot of people and I criticized a lot. I thought I knew it all. And I criticized people a lot. And it didn't feel right. It didn't feel. But I now I, I, I kind of see it from that perspective of like, okay, I was criticizing myself so freaking much that I couldn't take it anymore. I had to find a way. I had to find a way to ease the pain inside of me. there was a time there was someone who i really care about and I, I i truly truly love and care about and, and he's very <laughs> judgmental and he criticizes people a lot right and i was trying to understand like why like why does he do that i, I just it was very painful me, to me for me to see and experience and i was talking to someone else about it and he told me there's <laughs> there's no better defense than a powerful offense right we've heard that phrase similar to that before and i realized like sometimes we defend ourselves we protect ourselves by pushing people away by criticizing by judging right and to me it's fascinating how Throughout my life, I've found ways of easing the pain inside of me by, <laughs> by going out and criticizing others and judging others. And, and it's funny, I criticize, I criticize so much that I think everyone's judging me and criticizing me. And when I want to make a video, I'm like, is it going to be good enough? Is this good? Is the angle good? Is the lighting, the sound, the everything? And is the topic that I'm gonna talk about good enough? There's so many people online that I wanna be better, right? I wanna be good, I wanna be... Cause I wanna help, I wanna help. And, and, and... but there's a balance of the fear of judgment might continue to be there, right? It might still be there, but it's a balance of getting out of the way and realizing that maybe not that it's not for me because as much as this is for me and, and to help me and to feel a sense of purpose and to feel a sense of meaning in my life and what I'm doing and how I'm supporting others and helping to make the world a better place but also yeah that just a balance of getting out of the way 
so that whatever's wanting to come through me, whatever's wanting to be expressed through me can actually get to people and can actually help others going through similar things, right? And we always think like, why me? I'm, I'm, I'm not good enough. I'm, I don't, my message is not, there's nothing special about what I just shared, right? I've just been talking for like 10 minutes and maybe there's nothing that special about what I just said. But how do I know that? Who am I to judge that, right? Coming back to judgment. What if I just put it out there? What if I just put it out there and see if it helps people? And if not, then I just wasted 10 minutes of your life and mine. <laughs> I don't think it's a waste. But the fear of judgment is so fascinating to me because I've talked to... Well, I know a lot of amazing coaches, amazing, amazing coaches. And I, t I had a conversation, a session actually with a guy that wanted to start coaching. And he's incredible. He shares really powerful things on Facebook. And he had the same challenge of like, why me? Why should I do it? There's nothing that I can share, nothing special that I have to offer. And we went through a session and I was like, because he kind of like, admires the way I've opened up in the past and share things on Facebook and and I told him like to me I always this is one thing that I, it's always in the back of my mind that as I share things I think to friends back in high school and college right people that in my mind, I'm thinking, as I share things, I'm thinking they're probably making fun of me. That's honestly what I'm thinking. Like, they're probably saying, like, what a little bitch or what a little girl. Which is a funny way of that's kind of offensive to women, I think. Uh, what a little baby, a little girl, what... And, like, who does he think he is to be sharing that? Like, he thinks he's that special that he can just put a video on Facebook and people are going to watch and listen and pay attention to him? Like, who the hell does he think he is, right? And in my mind, that's plain. Like, that's plain even as I'm making a video sometimes. But I told this guy, I told, I told him during the session, like, I don't care if I get 20 messages talking shit about my video because sometimes I get one message that is so real and raw and honest and powerful about the impact that I wa what I shared had on their life that I don't give a shit if I get 20 messages talking shit about me. Because I'm not making these videos for that, those people. I'm making it for that one person who gets something out of the video, something, even a tiny little thing that might inspire them to follow their heart or do whatever they want to do or just be able to heal something and have a better better experience with their journey with themselves and that's one thing that I've realized like even right now like I'm not liking this video that much I don't think that what I shared is powerful like right we're all looking for a powerful message always something powerful life-changing and I don't think what I shared is life-changing. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it is, but I'm gonna put it out there anyways. Cause I, I could just erase this video and just try to make a new one tomorrow. But you know what's gonna happen tomorrow? I'm gonna feel the same thing. I'm gonna feel like the message is not good enough. The video is not good enough. I'm not good enough. And how the hell am I gonna heal that? which I've always had in my life, I'm not good enough. How am I gonna f heal that if I continue to feel like what I do is not good enough and not put it out there? Whatever it is that you do, if you're an artist, if you draw, you paint, you do sculpture, pottery, any kind of art, any kind of thing on social media, maybe a lot of us have that feeling of I don't think what I do is good. I don't think it's good enough. I don't think it's helping. I don't think it's going anywhere. And that's what I feel a lot of the time. And I'm not saying this so that you send me a message and tell me that I've changed your life with videos that I've made in the past. I'm just sharing what I'm going through because I've noticed that 
from sharing from my own journeys that that's when we can really help other people so um, I'm thinking of making other videos about my journey and my struggles and my challenges and things that I've gone through and lessons that I've learned and things like that and, and <laughs> see even as I say that I just think like why should I do it why should I bother but I think I don't know I'm just gonna end it right here Thank you.